Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we've got one system from the user Iris in Discord so a massive thank you to them for sending their solar system in. But without further ado let's get straight into this. So we'll go to the uh, workshop as normal here. This one's from there. Uh, here it is. So it's called the uh, Did Did system. So let's go ahead and uh, see uh, what they have prepared for us today. So remember this is from the user Iris in Discord. Right and they all they put is epic. Okay right. So where are we? Let's uh, start off in the middle like we always do. Okay, so we've got a Pulsar Series B Pulsar uh, by the looks of things here. So let's go all the way down. That is looking pretty cool already with a massive uh, fragment ring around it. Okay, so what is going on here? Right. Okay. Right. Uh, just turn trails off for the time being. Okay, so first off, we've got New Horizons. We've got Probe, uh, probe in here. Okay. You can see a ton of fragments in the background. So we've got New Horizons Probe. That is orbiting at the star itself. Okay, and that's obviously had some crazy orbits. He's definitely ran this simulation for a bit. Next up, we've got a bunch of fragments. So it looks like there may have been a planet here that has been shredded. Completely, completely shredded, as we can see. There's a ring of fragments. It definitely looks like something's been torn apart. So I wonder where the original object is, if it's still even in there. But yeah, that's something's definitely been uh, torn to shreds by the old pulsar here. So Sirius B, it's got 0 0.987 suns. So there it is there. Okay, next up we have got Turkhurst here. So this is the first of the planets. Okay, it looks like this is also losing material. We'll have to press play and see what happens to all of this stuff. Uh, so here it is. So we can see planet being absolutely shredded apart by the uh, being so close to the pulsar. I mean, you can see a gas giant over there as well, which is quite cool. Uh, let's check the stats on this guy, actually. So it only takes six hours to orbit that pulsar. Yeah, this pulsar is going to shred this thing eventually. Uh, then we have the gas giant over here. So this is uh, Anjiti over here. So we can see... Pretty standard gas giant. Obviously got some uh, temperature going on there as well. Because it's still fairly close to the uh, pulsar there. So it's not looking good for any of those guys, I have to say. Uh, next up, we've got this object here. I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. But here it is. So we can see another darkened world. I'm guessing we're not going to have many Earth-like worlds at all around here. Because this is just dangerously close to a pulsar. Uh, then we have Starlight 1. So we have another probe here. Looks like it's a Juno spacecraft. So there it is, okay. Oh, that pulsar is cool, man. I can't wait till we press play on this. Uh, so we've got Starlight 1 over there. Okay, so now we're taking a jump out. Uh, next up, we've got this object over here. Looks like it may actually be Earth-like, actually. So there is some sort of Earth-like world uh, to an extent here. It's actually looking it's quite a good-looking world, I have to say, as well. I'm liking it. I rate that. So um, we can see it's obviously a little colder on the average temperature. But yeah, it has got a bit of temperature going to keep it warm. So yeah, there you go. Earth-like world in here. It's also got a moon or an orbiter. Okay, so here it is. So there it is, a nice probe around it. There you go, so we've got city lights as well. So we've got another Voyager probe around that as well. Okay, next up we've got a, just a bunch, just a massive bunch of probes all there. So we don't need to look at all of those. And then we have this object over here as well. So another planet very, very close here, also orbited by a bunch of probes and stuff. So there are all of those. Okay, right, next up we've got this world over here. So we're taking a bigger jump now. It's a little asteroid as we can see, just sitting on the outer regions of this... Uh, quite small system actually so there's that guy okay next up we got this object so another asteroid object yeah i won't visit them if they're asteroids uh down here we have got another planet okay here we go so it's also got some more uh, it's got a space station around it so there we go that's pretty cool uh, but yeah here is the planet so we can see it looks like it's got oceans on it by the uh, looks of things look on the composition here so it's definitely got an ocean there you can see the blue on it so okay it's looking pretty cold and dim out here, though. Obviously, we're quite far from the pulsar now. It's not the most luminous thing ever. So there's a few more uh, probes as well. Okay, next jump out we got over here. We've got a gas giant. Okay. So we've got a world looking like Uranus with a huge amount of rings going. What has happened here? Right. And so it's a Uranus looking object. It's got a moon very close to it as well. This moon may get torn up by Rouge Limit. I mean, that's dangerously close. It's got a huge amount of rings here. There's been a lot of action in this solar system, I have to say. I mean, look at this. So this one has a bunch of moons. And by the looks of things, we can just click on all of those. So they're all just randomly generated moons, so I don't know like there's anything uh, too special here. But yeah, there, there they all are. So let's get them all selected. Yeah, they all look, they all just look bog standard. Like they've come right out of the box. So there are all of those. Yeah, that is a um, that is definitely a recipe for disaster, I reckon, with all those moons being so close and all those rings. There's definitely going to be collisions going on in there. So there's that one. It's also got another moon slightly further out. And I believe that is everything. So, I think we need to press play. Um, yeah, we definitely need to press play. So, we'll go to Sirius itself. I want to see this planet get shredded. So, back to Sirius itself. Okay, press play. 
obviously that is pretty intense actions going on there. So surely this world is going to be shredded up. I mean, yeah, you can see that is losing material. Uh, let's see how fast we can go this. I mean, there's a lot of particles in here, so it could be quite hard to get this sped up. But there we are. So we can see that is going to get drained. But maybe the gas giant out here will offer more to watch at the time being. So this is why this is probably why the simulation has been so slow is all of this stuff. So it's barely even running. Okay, let's just we'll have to delete the asteroids. There you go. So we should be able to speed things up a bit more now. But even then, it's not really going too quick. Let's get it. Let's keep it going. There you go. Yeah, so this is the fastest assimilation will run. Wow, okay. So all those moons generated in there, all of that really, really does slow this simulation down. So how are we doing on the inner part here? So maybe we'll see more action going on in here. But that gas giant is just really close there. So this must be losing material quite frequently here. So yeah, it's losing mass. Okay. So even if we reset the mass loss, look. Reset. It just loses loads straight away. Wow, we... Okay. That is pretty correct crazy there uh how about this gas giant i'm guessing this is probably losing mass as well here okay i'll just delete some of these uh, probes and stuff maybe that'll help run the simulation a little faster so it's just a load of probes in there but i'm guessing all these moons and stuff what's going on over here looks like this world has been ejected by the um or this asteroid has been ejected by the stars so we can actually just go ahead and delete these guys so they've been ejected uh we can see there's still trouble going on over here at that uh, ice giant this is just another asteroid we can just delete that for the time being Okay, so yeah, this is probably our lag machine in here is all of this stuff. So yeah, I'm guessing all those moons will just collide and stuff. You can see that all the orbits are very, very unstable in there as well. But let's just go ahead and delete that whole lot of stuff so we can run the inner solar system a little easier. Okay, so we should be able to run it a lot quicker now. Can we go any quicker? Yeah, you go. Okay, so I want to see, is that planet going to survive or not? That is the question here. Let's just see how fast we can go. We'll see all this stuff is just going ridiculously fast around here. So... Where, where's that planet? So, here it is. I'm surprised it's not losing mass. It hasn't got any lock features on it, so I'm surprised. That is that is interesting how it's hanging on, but it is losing mass, as we saw, but the size of it isn't really changing at the moment, so it's still not really enough to uh, destroy anything. So, there it is. Yeah, really interesting stuff. Let's just get rid of that gas giant as well, get rid of all these moons and stuff. Can we do Control f I don't know if we can delete the fragments with that, but I reckon that orbit will get changed by that gas giant being so close to it in that inner solar system. I mean, if we slow things down again, let's just go really, really slow here. Come on, game. Come on, I'm clicking it as fast as possible here. Come on. Yeah, pulsar simulations are weird sometimes when you're trying to slow them up and speed them down. So, if we just pause it. So, yeah, I reckon this gas giant is definitely affecting the orbits of something there. It looks like this starlight one thing got affected. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah, pretty crazy stuff there. So, let's uh, try and keep it going. Then, I mean, uh, how fast can we go? I mean, can we... Is there a way we can... Uh... Ah, okay. Target simulation speed. I mean, yeah, we can't. This is the fast, the literal fastest we can run this at the moment of all of these particles and stuff in here. So it looks like um, we may not be able to see the uh, planet get torn apart, unfortunately. But we did see it was losing mass. So is it still losing mass now? It doesn't look like it is. So, okay. Interesting. But yeah, there we go. So that is a little look at the Did Did system. It was called the Did Did system, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. So that was the Did Did system. So yeah, there's a little look at it, guys. So yeah, let us know what you think down below in the comments um, of this. Yeah, if you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe um, for more as well. And yeah, this system is submitted by the user Iris. So a massive thank you to them again for sending that in. With that all said and done, guys, make sure you have a great day. If you'd like to send in your own simulations as well, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description. That's the only way you can get them in my videos. So yes, please note if you were send stuff in the comments it won't be picked up you need to go and join my discord and then i'll upload your links in there or files uh, that's all fine but yeah please make sure to do that if you wish to get a simulation in but with that all said and done guys like i said make sure you have a great day stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next video goodbye